Hi, this is Bethany Professor Derek Lingholm coming to you live from my home workspace. As you can see, it's a little bit different than my office at school, but it really helps me stay focused and get everything done that I need to get done here at home. So I hope all of you are doing well, stay healthy and stay safe, and hopefully we'll see you back again really soon. God bless. Hey guys, it's Amanda. I actually don't have a dedicated workspace yet because my new colleagues here um, frankly are not that easy to work with. They take up every room in the house and um, they're really not very good at motion graphics either. So this is a rough time for me and if I can go through it, uh, all of us can. <laughs> Say bye bye. Bye bye. Say bye bye. Well y'all, here we are. It's pretty quiet these days. It's just me and my husband all alone in our apartment. Oh, and uh, this guy, ta-da! Actually, it might be a girl, I don't know which. Uh, and actually, this picture is very outdated. Uh, it's probably a hundred times the size by now. But um, if there's any good to come out of all this, it's the fact that I thought I was gonna have to buy all these brand new maternity clothes to get me through the second half of the semester. And since you only see about this much of me these days, I have one word for you. Sweatpants. I hope you're all well, I miss you. Hi everybody. I know that this has got to be a difficult time, a time where we're maybe feeling lonely and isolated. But during these times where we don't have anybody around, remember that your Bethany friends, your Bethany family are all there. We're waiting. We can't wait to see you once again. I can't wait to hang out with you again. And on the other hand, maybe some of us could use a little me time after all of this. Hey friends, miss you so much. Here we are in my workspace. It says, do not disturb, the professor is working. A quote from Mrs. McCready from The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe movie. And then we walk into the room and there is my kid and my dog. And over here is my little study zone. And it looks out my back window, so it's super pleasant. Miss you guys so much. Greetings from myself and animals at the Waller Farm. There are many reasons why I don't do schooling outside, but I thought you guys might want to see a little different variety of something to look at. So, I hope you're all doing as well as to be possible. I miss seeing all of you students face to face, and I pray that this all goes well and that you're staying healthy. Oh, it's such a beautiful day. I know, right? Look, I can't, look, look. The telephone wires, they form a hyperbolic cosine function. Isn't that awesome? Nerd. So I hope all of you are continuing to see the mathematics and the beauty around you, whether it's figuring out the cost per square inch of a pizza or the hyperbolic cosine function of a telephone wire. Stay safe, know that you're loved, stay inspired, and I'll see you in the fall. Take care. Hey, this is Professor Perks checking in with my son, Colin. You think this ray guy has enough teraflops to teach Greek class? You bet it does. Probably even do it with ray tracing if that was a thing for the Greek language. Probably could even teach Greek and play video games at the same time, but that would get me in trouble, so I'm probably not going to do that. But I guess you'll have to watch to find out. Anyways, just wanted to check in, stay safe, God will get us through this, and God's blessings to you all. Hello chemistry students, this is where I'm working. This is my home. I'm working with a few helpers. <whistles> this is copper and nickel. They're golden retrievers. They don't retrieve anything. And then there's the chickens. Lots and lots of chickens. And sure, a couple of horses. Why not have horses? And of course there's cats. Lots and lots of cats. This is the ugly one. Well, this is a little farm where I live. Doing most of my teaching from here or at school. Hope you're doing well. Hang Just on the load of cat litter into the shop. Hi there, Coach Emma Morris here. Um, just at home with my dog, Harry. Um, just wanted to send a message out to the students and let you know that we're all behind you. Uh, finish strong, you can do it. Um, and then hopefully for those who aren't graduating, we'll see you this fall. And for those who are, good luck in the future. We wish you all the best. This is a beautiful day at home. This is my star student, but all she thinks about is chasing squirrels. Abby? She doing amps. Did you get the squirrel? Where was the squirrel? Did you get the squirrel?
Greetings, Bethany students. I hope that this video soothes you, invigorates you, strengthens you, and sparks your creativity. This is my rendition of the coronavirus as done through interpretive dance. Here I am powerlifting 500 pounds, practicing a new song on my violin in my casual clothes in my living room. I hope that you are all well, healthy, and staying connected to one another. God bless. This is Pastor Stafford. No, wait, this is Pastor Stafford. I'd like to give a shout out to all my Religion 111 peeps past and present. It's been great to hear from so many of you online. I look forward to being back on campus with you in the fall. You are all in my thoughts and prayers, and together we can get through this. With the Lord's help, we are Bethany Strong. Hello, students. Welcome to my new office and classroom in this brave new world. Know that we miss seeing you and miss having you in our classes. We will get through this and be stronger for it with faith, hope, and love, knowing that God loves us and is here for us. May God bless you richly. And cut! Well, I thought that went pretty well, didn't you? Wait, turn off the camera! Well, greetings to all of you at Bethany, uh, or not at Bethany. I miss all of you. Uh, here's a little bit of a uh, look at where I'm kind of hunkered down here uh, during these uh, weeks when we are not uh, in face-to-face -face sessions on campus. This is my study. Uh, you've got some books here. Uh, let's see here. A few things. This is my workstation. Uh, someone played a joke on me by putting lots of candy and chips there. I don't know how those got there. They're not mine, of course. Oh, let's see here. Here's my... Uh, my workstation here, some other stuff over there. Uh, just want to encourage all of you during these days to uh, uh, keep studying, keep hearing, uh, particularly God's Word. The last uh, class I had for the Romans class on Friday was reading through and studying Romans chapter 8, verses 31 to 39, a great study. I also recommend uh, Psalms 22 and 77 and great uh, psalms that are in the lament category that uh, are very realistic, picturing and speaking to God of trouble and yet realizing our hope finally is in the one who in our place said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Uh, he was forsaken so that you are not. God bless you all. Take care. Bye. As I teach my students online from my office at Bethany Lutheran College, I have two friends to keep me company during the COVID-19 pandemic. Rene Descartes and Emmanuel Kant, my philosophy puppets. And whether you have puppets or not where you are, I hope that you realize that you have no need to be lonely. For our Lord will never leave you alone. He will never leave you nor forsake you, but will be with you always, even to the end of the age. Bethany students, do we miss you? I'm going to work right now and I'll be in the YFAC, which will be empty. <laughs> there will be nobody there. It's a ghost town. I really miss you guys. Uh, hope you guys are all doing well. Please know that we are praying for you and that uh, we hope all of this ends very, very soon and quickly and that everybody comes out better on the other side. God bless all of you. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.